From Ubisoft and EA's latest wares to Nintendo's Super Mario Odyssey. Join us as we take a look at the top 10 best games on show at E3 2017. God of War is a reboot to the franchise developed by Santa Monica Studios and published exclusively for PlayStation 4. You once again take control of Kratos, but now you must lead and protect your son Atreus as you smash your way through the usual mix of enemies and novelty-sized boss battles. This is the eighth installment for the series and is set chronologically after the events of God of War 3. Traditionally, this series is drawn upon Greek mythology for its world and character design. Now it steps into a new era using Norse iconography and legends as inspiration. It's been a little over four years since the last God of War game, so fans of the series are sure to revel in the button-smashing goodness that is set to drop in early 2018. Sea of Thieves is a swashbuckling pirate adventure developed by Rare and published by Microsoft exclusively for Xbox One and PC. You and several friends can take to the seas in this co-op first-person action adventure. Your pirate cohort will have to work together manning different parts of your ship as you sail around this massive open world looking for treasure. It's a shared world which means you'll encounter other ragtag gangs of online players that may help or hinder your adventure. Sea of Thieves is looking like it'll be an absolute hoot. At the moment it's scheduled for an early 2018 release. Marvel's Spider-Man is an upcoming PlayStation 4 exclusive developed by Insomniac Games. It's an all-original story that isn't tied to a movie or comic book. Players will find themselves web-slinging and wall-running through modern-day New York City in a stunning open-world environment. The combat looks fresh and intuitive, the movement is dynamic with quick-time events mixing up the action. While Spider-Man games have been historically lackluster, this looks like it could be everything fans want and more. Here's hoping. At E3 2017, EA announced an exciting new title called A Way Out. Created by Brothers A Tale of Two Sons director Joseph Fares, this jailbreak action adventure sees players teaming up split-screen co-op style. You can play online or in the same room with a friend. Players will need to help each other solve puzzles and maneuver obstacles as you try and stay one step ahead of the police after an epic escape from prison. This game has potential to be a bit of a sleeper hit, definitely one to keep an eye on. Ubisoft is at it again with another Assassin's Creed game. This time, gamers have had a one-year reprieve between main titles to think about whether this game is something they want or need. And the answer is… maybe. Set in ancient Egypt, Assassin's Creed Origins tells the story of the beginning of the Assassin Brotherhood. Players will find themselves in the familiar free-running shoes of a forgettable animus puppet sent back in time to brutally murder people. However, according to Origins director Ashraf Ismail, who helmed Assassin's Creed Black Flag, they've aimed to freshen the franchise with a truly open world. Thankfully, they've done away with the tower sync points that were used to highlight tasks on the map. This time around, you'll control an eagle that can spot enemies and points of interest. Combat has also had an update with players now having to rely on dodges and parries and particular weapons to win fights, especially in the reintroduced boss battles. Whether the draw of a few added features and the thrill of running through ancient Egypt will be enough to revive this tired franchise remains to be seen. This is EA's second foray into the rebooted Star Wars Battlefront franchise. After the previous title received some heavy criticism over its lean online multiplayer only offering, it would appear EA is trying to make amends. Yes, that means a single player campaign. The story mode is set sometime after the events of Return of the Jedi and leads all the way up to The Force Awakens. While there is scarce details on what the storyline covers, players will take control of Inferno Squad Commander Iden Versio, a hero of the Empire. According to an interview with Mark Thompson, creative director at EA's Motive, he wanted to explore stories from the perspective of the Empire. We've heard a lot about the heroes of the Rebellion, we wanted to give the Empire heroes in that same way, he said. With a blend of intense online multiplayer and an intriguing single-player campaign, this game could make for a rollicking good time. Days Gone is a PlayStation 4 exclusive that was first unveiled at last year's E3. This year, Sony has released a 7-minute gameplay trailer that highlights some of the game's features. So far, it's gritty, violent and zombie-encrusted. Set in a world where society seems to have frayed apart into factions fighting to survive, Days Gone is hugely reminiscent of The Last of Us. 
In the trailer, gruff biker dude Deacon St. John goes in search of a kidnapped friend. Along the way, he encounters decaying wolves, violent thugs, and a twitching mob of zombies, who he unleashes onto another faction by blowing up a makeshift fence. The preview culminates with a shot of a giant zombie bear, all hacked up and ready to feast. If highway bandits, zombies, and undead grizzly bears pique your interest, then this game could be a real hoot. The next explosive instalment of Ubisoft's Far Cry series was on show at E3 2017. Set in Montana, USA, players are thrust into a world besieged by a cultist known as the Father. He believes the world is at a tipping point and must be cleansed of its sins. Far Cry 5 is a hugely open world game where players can uncover the story in a variety of different ways. After an initial encounter with the cult leader, you're forced into an unexplained world. It's up to you to explore the land and meet characters to make the story unfold. It looks like Far Cry 5 could be a refreshing change for the franchise, one that was suffering from a bit of wear and tear. Ubisoft is famous for its rinse and repeat frameworks that spawn yearly franchise incarnations. This however could be the makeover this series needs. It's time to slip into some overalls, clip on a fake mustache and wipe down your Dorito dusted mittens cause Mario is back. That's right, Nintendo has finally realised you actually have to release games to the public in order to be successful, something they seem to have forgotten in the last few years. This time around, players take control of Mario in more familiar exploration based gameplay reminiscent of the glory days of Super Mario 64. Added features include a bug-eyed hat named Cappy that Mario can throw at enemies to momentarily possess them, such as Goombas and Koopa Troopers, as well as objects like tanks and other devices. This new adventure will see Mario explore outside of the Mushroom Kingdom via a hat-shaped ship named Odyssey. He'll see new lands including a New York-inspired level called New Donk City, as well as a desert landscape where he'll don a sombrero and poncho. For Nintendo fans, this is shaping up to be champagne gaming, while for others it may just be enough to tempt buying a Switch just to play it. Old Mate Mario will be bum busting onto screens on a worldwide release date of the 27th of October 2017. Anthem is a brand new IP from Bioware, the developers that brought you the Mass Effect series. During the Microsoft press conference at E3 2017, we got a glimpse of this new world. So far it looks like Bioware's answer to destiny. It's set in a dystopian world teeming with strange creatures. You and your buddies can team up and let loose with an arsenal of awesome looking weaponry. There's mech suits, flying, loot and lush looking open worlds. This game is definitely one to look out for as it develops in the coming months. Well, hey, well that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Now what got you excited at this year's E3? What games are you looking forward to playing? Let us know in the comments section below because I'll be hanging around for one hour after this video goes live and we can have a good chat about it. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. Pew!